Many years ago, in a faraway land, there lived an old tinker and his wife who had a little tinker for a son. The old couple were very thin, but not because they were poor, for the old man had made a fine success of his business and they were quite wealthy. It was because their son had an appetite that was a frightening thing to behold. And every time they went to the cupboard for something to eat... Alas, the cupboard is bare! Yes, honey bun, and the same fate has befallen our icebox. No, oh, the boy's done it again. He's eaten everything in the house. <laughs> Not quite. You mean... Yes, dearie, I hid a chicken-fried peacock in the chandelier. Thank heavens we're saved! They hurried into the other room, but alas again, when they had climbed up to the chandelier... Hi, Ma. Hi, Pa. Oh, he found it. I also found a Kanakwurst you had hidden under the mattress. Now, the old couple loved their son dearly, but as a matter of their own survival, they were forced to come to a decision on the spot. Why don't you leave home? Yes, it's time for you to go out in the world and make your fortune. This little silver hammer is the very same one I started with. Take it and good luck, son. May you become a big tinker someday. Knowing that he had come from a long line of tinkers, the lad was full of confidence, and quickly, going off to the nearest city, he walked along the streets, crying his trade. I tink! I tink! Unfortunately, the townspeople completely misunderstood what he was saying and took a dim view of such a proclamation. Shame on you! We don't want you kind around here! Out! The poor lad was stoned, and only by darting into a hollow tree at the last possible moment did the lad manage to escape with his life. He might have stayed in the hollow tree for the rest of his life if fate had not taken a hand. For it so happened that a fearful giant troll moved into the woods surrounding a nearby kingdom and was terrifying everybody with his thunderous roars. <coughs> me, me, me. <coughs> now, having a troll in one's woods is most undesirable, and the situation looked hopeless, but on that very afternoon, the royal woodchopper chanced to cut down the hollow tree in which the little tinker was hiding. And when it was brought to the castle... What's that inside the tree? Uh, a squirrel? With blue eyes? When it was discovered that it was a lad, the king was overjoyed. He must be an enchanted boy. Why else would he be living in a hollow tree? Maybe he's cuckoo. But the king, convinced that the young man was of the enchanted variety, quickly took him off to the edge of the great forest. With your magic powers, you can get rid of the troll for me. I don't know anything about getting rid of trolls, your highness. You see, I'm a tinker. None of us are perfect, boy. Now go! Being a tinker had been nothing but trouble. And just then, he came face to face with the frightful troll himself. Fee, fum, fo, fi, I smell a human passing by. It is only I. And whom are you? I'm a scared little tinker. A tinker? You, you mean an itinerant mender of pots and pans? I hope so. It's been so long, you know, I've forgotten. Good, good. I have a hole in my people pot. People pot? Yes, yes, it's the pot in which us trolls cook people. If you will mend it for me, I shall grant you a wish. Taking his silver hammer, the boy tinked and tinked, and soon the task was completed. There, it's just like new. Fine, Liebchen, you'll do good work. Hey, what's the idea of putting me in a pot? You're a people, aren't you? Yes. So, you're going to get cooked. But you said you would grant me a wish. <laughs> so I lied. Desperate, he struck out with his little silver hammer. Fortunately, the one thing that will do in a troll is a blow from a silver hammer. Returning to the kingdom, the little tinker found himself a hero. Half of my kingdom is yours, boy. And now for the best part. Take a look at this. Say, that's a nice goat you got there. Goat? That's my daughter. You get to marry her. <laughs> Hello, honey. Say, that kid was enchanted. Did you see him disappear? The lad didn't stop running until he was five kingdoms away. 
realizing that he had nothing but trouble as a tinker, he changed his trade to being a cobbler. And one day, as he walked through the countryside, crying his trade, Cobble, 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 cobble. A nearsighted huntsman mistook him for a turkey and shot him on the spot. Oh, I know it's very sad. But at least one thing can be learned from this tale, and that is that once a tinker is bad enough, but once a cobbler is uh, strictly for the birds. <laughs> That's an old saying. <laughs>